Uh, hello everybody, this is your boy. Today I am going to speak about Africa and Africa Union. So us as young African citizens and African leaders, we need to come together and speak about the unity of Africa. What do we have to do to unite Africa? How can we unite Africa without our Western country questioning us? So, because our Western countries that always doesn't want Africa to get united because I think that Africa will take over the world. And we need to stop them. We need to stop our Western countries to make sure that they don't stop Africa unity. Because this is not good. Our Western countries, their countries are dead united all. But when it comes to Africa unity and then everybody is running, running up to make sure that Africa cannot get united. We need to work together as a young African citizen and young African leaders to make sure that we unite Africa. For us, we need to build bridges between our Western countries and Africa to make sure that we do business with them and use the money to build with Africa, to develop with Africa. Especially, Africa is the poorest continent, and what do we have to do to make sure that we unite, Af we make Africa the rich continent again, is by, is by doing business between our Western countries to make sure that we develop Africa, we unite Africa with one language, one flag, one citizenship, one passport. To make sure that we create a lot of jobs for African people, to make sure that we build good roads, good hospital, good public transport, water transport, air transport, electricity in Africa, to make sure that Africa have clean drinking water in Africa to make sure that everybody in Africa get a better life among themselves. Let us not listen for our Western countries. Let us listen for ourselves as Africa. Because when we listen for our Western countries, our Western countries cannot allow us to unite Africa. Let us ignore our Western countries and listen for ourselves as young African people and African leaders. This is what we have to do in Africa. And also, the one thing I want to say about Africa Union, when our Western countries come to Africa to stop African resources, to, to stop African leaders to make sure that they don't create the crude oil pipeline, benefit with African people. Always the African Union is keeping quiet. It didn't say anything about these Western countries. And African Union is the most powerful union in Africa. The African Union they have to take control of this. African Union have to take control of these Western countries. African Union have to handle these Western countries to make sure that Western country don't play with Africa because the Western countries that make Africa as a joke continent they always play with Africa they think that Africa because they think that maybe they are the powerful continent in the world and they come to joke with Africa this is not good Africa Union is, is the powerful Union in Africa and Africa Union have to speak up Africa Union have to take the control of these Western countries to make sure that no any Western countries play with Africa, to make sure that these Western countries not coming to Africa to take African resources. So Africa Union is the weapon to stop these Western countries because when Africa Union was created, Africa Union was mean actually was created to unite Africa, to make sure that to bring African people together, unite Africa as the one continent. But the African Union not doing this. The African Union already 
rely on African leaders, then African Union is supposed to bring all African leaders together and start speaking about how to unite Africa, how to bring African people together, how to build African resources, how to do business about Africa and these Western countries. This is what African Union has to do. How about how to create African currency, how to do African constitution. This is what the African Union is supposed to do. To tell African leaders that this, this is the thing you have to do. Go like this, go like this. Thank you very much. It's your boy.